John with the Pro Cut. You can see here there's this old pier at my customer's property and it's seen better days. They've already started dropping the lake. You can see it's, you know, the water starts out there. About a quarter of the pier is out of the water now. I'm gonna need to replace the posts, the joists, and the decking. We're gonna get this up in ship shape. got the outside stringers in place. We've put in a couple new cypress posts, two pressure treated six by six posts at the end, and they're concreted in, two 80 pound bags of concrete in each post. Still got to secure up against the bank and put in the center stringer, top down that post there, and then put four foot wide decking all the way out and then we're going to match the handrail that's up on the deck of the house we're going to match it out here on the pier as well what's going on guys back out at the fishing pier uh, working on getting this decking done just doing a little clip off of the iphone because i can't find my gopro right now So I've got the decking done and I've started the handrail. Still halfway to go, still on a handrail. And I need to bring my saws all so I can cut the two six by sixes down to height. And then there'll be a upright every four foot and there's gonna be a split rail on there as well. Still on the iPhone, still can't find my GoPro, but I finished up this little fishing dock and uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around here and uh, tell you guys what I got going on. So we've got a 32 foot fishing pier. Uh, you can see the lake level is, it was up back up higher cause we've got a bunch of rain, but now it's dropping back down. I'm hoping it goes down further so I can get these two posts out that we didn't use. There and there, those, those need to come out. So um, the reason we left the end open instead of putting a handrail on it was in case a boat comes up or something so they can get off, but that's it. She's all set, ready for some fishing. 